Look at the movement, the motion, the details, the smoke, the fires, the sky, the water. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Scepter 24 inch business computer monitor. I did receive this sample from Scepter to check out today, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this monitor or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. All right, it's time for a quick viewer intervention. Yes, I'm talking to you. No, don't look away. I'm talking to you right now. In the last 28 days, almost 40,000 of you have viewed the TV Chef channel, but only 98 of you have become a subscriber. So would you please consider clicking that subscribe button? Bonus points if you like, comment, and share our videos as well. If you don't like our videos, please give it a thumbs down, click that dislike button, and tell us why in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you either way. Also, bonus points for you if you want to share it with an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, a strange sibling, spouse. You get the idea. We'd be grateful for that as well. Here are all the contents. Here's a look at the back side of the monitor. We got the Scepter logo in branding front and center. We have our menu and control buttons right here and our power button. There's the two speakers, additional product information, our 100 by 100 Visa mount. Here's a look at the side profile. It's very slim and thin up at the top, a little bit thicker down here with all the internals being housed. And now we can look at it from the very front as well. Our HDMI 75 Hertz sticker, Scepter's logo and branding. So let's stand it up and you'll see the options that we have. We have the ability to tilt it back in a smidge forward, but that's it. Next up, we got the UFO test here, showing you different FPS values, all coming in at 75 Hertz for our refresh rate. At the bottom, we got 19 FPS, and look at how sputtery, staggery, bouncy, choppy, however you wanna call it, the alien looks, the UFO as it's moving across the screen. Then we double the FPS value to 38, and we're seeing a pretty substantial improvement there. So when we double from 38 to 75, again, much smoother and that much more of an enjoyable experience when you're gaming. Let's take a look at our web browsing test. This is a simple test, just trying to give you a realistic expectation of how everything looks and displays on this monitor when you're browsing the web. Keep in mind, as with everything else, we have a camera pointing at a display, so it just never looks as good as if you were here in person. But we got YouTube pulled up. This is the trending page. Look at how nice everything looks. Easy to read and navigate and see. Clear and crisp. Super responsive. Now we're testing out the built-in speaker quality. We currently have the volume maxed out at 100. We're listening to the song Dripping With Ice from Music Chef. Music Chef is home to DMCA free and stream safe music for content creators. The speakers, if you're listening, you can hear them from the back and actually see them. Not super full or even that loud. They're not gonna pack a punch. Next, it's time to test the input leg on this monitor. So let's go and let's see what our results are right here. So we're showing roughly 1.5, 1.4 milliseconds. It's time to talk gaming. First up on the display right here, we have fours of five. This game, let me tell you, looks so good, honestly, on any monitor. The level of detail in this game is top notch, which is why it's nice to see it on a panel like this. So follow the car, look at the movement, the motion, all the other cars it's racing, the changing scenery, the lights, the shadows, the blacks, the horizon. Now we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla pulled up on the display. Look at this gameplay footage. Look at the movement, the motion, the details, the smoke, the fires, the sky, the water, the characters, you get the idea. For all you next-gen console users out there, I haven't forgotten about you. We have the PlayStation 5 connected right here. Here's our video output information. You're gonna get 1920, 1080 at 60 Hertz with this monitor using the PlayStation 5. And for you Xboxers out there, I got the Xbox Series X connected. We're looking at our TV and display options and same thing. 1080p resolution. We don't even have any other choices for our refresh rate, so we'll be getting 60 hertz. You can find out more right here if you go to the 4K TV detail screen. And right there, everything is a no. So 1080p 60 is what it is. 